partner workout, so there's gonna be two people involved. He has to hold these until I'm done He's rowing 250 <laughs> meters. The rule here is the handles of the kettlebells have to touch. By the time this exercise is done, you will have rowed 250 meters three times, and you will have held three times. We're gonna time the whole event, so the quicker you can do those transitions, the better time you're gonna get on this. You're just gonna to wanna to stop. But don't stop. Okay, you guys ready? Pick those up and get them in rack position. Let's go. You can see his speed's 124, about 42 seconds. It's gonna take him to do this. See how nice and controlled he is as well? Nice. That's a good Real thing. Beautiful. In three, two, one, Back switch. Right there. So He's slow getting in the row. Go, go, go suffer go. and go. There's some power. Yeah. Switch. Get in there, grab that, and go. Yeah. Hang on, do not put those down. Come on. Three, three. And switch. And go. And go. Uh, yeah, tear the handle out of the machine. Uh, I know you're tired, but keep your forearm straight. Uh, right and there. switch. Flush it. Let's go. Uh, Relax and breathe. Nice. There we go. Got to go fast. Nice. Go hard. Switch. Switch. One and go. Yeah. You gotta hold it. Not there. Here in front. Handles, handles tough. There beautiful. you go, just like that. Go, go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Use those arms, use your arms. Come on, you're all right. You got 50 meters left. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Expand your belly to breathe. Legs. Use those arms, use your arms. Everything you got. And time. Nice. 5.36. No, no, no. Nice. Don't lie down. Walk around. Nice work, man. <laughs> I think in order to save someone else, you'll almost always go harder than you will to save yourself. And now all we have to do is the cool down, and oh, we're done. A frog hop is a partial squat jump, but your hands can't be involved. So you're gonna do the first four by 30, 30. 30 second work, 30 second rest, nope. more times. Lots of jumps and lots of height. Let's move. More bend in the knees. Good, much better. And really try to jump high. There you go. You can think of the push press as a cheated military press. It's all shoulders. Use your legs and jump those dumbbells up. You need to go to full lockout on every rep. 30 seconds of push press, 30 seconds of rest. The rest portion of this, over your head. Straight arms, guys. That's why it says hell style. The more you use your legs, the better condition your shoulders are gonna be in for the right whole. Nothing will sort out your core like holding a weight overhead. Foot jumps, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. Take a walking lunge. I want to see the knees sort of gently kiss the ground every single time. Try to get some height on those jumps. Try not to let your back fold. Push, everybody. You guys know what FLR is? Just do that. None of this. It's not downward dog in yoga. <laughs> not here. Plank hold. It's going to help for you guys if you flex your abdominals throughout. 300 seconds, it works out to five minutes. You could do this in 10 sets of 30 seconds. That would be a fine way to do this. If you hold the plank the correct way and really tighten everything up, it may need to be done in 10 sets of 30 seconds. And done. So guys, that's a complete workout. It's an hour of hard work, and that's how you know every workout should be. And you'd be surprised how fit you could get doing something for that intensity two or three times a week. Which brings up this whole idea of recovery. Like, I'd rather see a guy recover better and work less total volume, especially in this context, than the guy who goes at it every single day and whose performance just gets worse and worse and worse because he doesn't pay attention to recovery, because he doesn't get enough sleep, he doesn't drink enough water, he doesn't fuel with adequate calories. The key to that, though, is the inverse of intensity is duration. So if you're gonna work out less and you're gonna only be in the gym two or three times a week, you need to go hard and you need to be psychologically prepared to give it your all on that day. If you wanna quit and you don't quit, and then you wanna quit again and you don't quit again, and you get in the habit of not quitting during these things, it carries over to everything else. Fitness is strength and conditioning, but it's also strength of character. And through the process of training the mind in the gym as well as the body, we can develop values that are very similar to military values. 
My name is Specialist Ryan Newbold. Specialist Freddie Valencia. Specialist Burden. Private First Class Rick. Specialist William Harris. Yesterday I learned the importance of flexibility. Overhead presses. And the proper form for a squat. I learned that there's a whole different level of fitness that is essential to being a good soldier. Fitness is important so that I can be physically ready to complete the mission and help my community.